Welcome to my territory, Battle Fork, California. You've never heard of us? This was one of the last Native American strongholds in the United States. It was here, in 1861, that the 12th Cavalry carried out an attack on a confederation of Indian warriors determined to protect their native land. Many Native Americans died fighting for a place they held close to their hearts. How could you blame them? It was their home. 150 years later, the same land has become the site of an even bigger war. It will forever be known as the Battle of the Painted Forest. Say goodbye, little bunny wabbit. Ow, oh, dude, that hurts. Hey guys, shoot me in the back again. See what happens. Why don't you come around to the front, big boy? Why don't you come around to the front? Do I detect an attitude here, Carl? Dude, I'm just getting started, so you better watch your back. Ooh, I'm getting chills already. Take care of you like that bunny. You see it? He got scared, he ran away. Just like you and your mom. Oh, shut up. Why are you always on their side? Whatever, man. This is crap. Let's go. Just took out Carl and Tom down by the creek. Awesome. Like shooting ducks in a barrel. All right. I think we found Mama Duck. All right, so here's the plan. On three, we all take off in different directions. We won't know what hit him. I've got a better idea. Go. So Sparky doesn't have to know we were hit, okay? Okay? Dude, God, what? Did you hear anything I just said? I don't know, how important could it be? Look, Sparky doesn't have to know we were hit, okay? Okay, whatever. No, man, it's not whatever. Our stories, they have to gel, right, dude. Just chill, we didn't get hit. I just don't want him to think we're a couple of wimps is all. I only see one wimp here. I hate you so much. 
Hey, I didn't know Mr. Godfrey had a trailer. Me neither. Hey, what do you guys say? Should I get old Eagle Eye a little call, see how he's doing? <laughs> I don't know, you might wake him up. <laughs> hey, Target Factory, are you still alive up there? What the heck are you guys? Uh, we're over in Godfrey's field. Dusty just wasted Tom and Carl, but uh, I'd watch out. I think Sparky's heading over for you. Oh, man, don't say that. You guys got to take out their flag, dude. Don't worry, little buddy. I got you covered. I got a bad feeling about this whole thing. Hey, I've got a question for you guys. Does poison oak have three leaves or four? Three? Why? Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, if it isn't the blind leading the deaf. What do you do? You call yourself soldiers? What is this? Oh, uh, This better be lipstick, girls. All right, you caught us. Me and Tom, we ran into a couple of A-class hotties by the creek. You idiots got tagged. No, what? Oh. All right, look. Tom got tagged. I just got a little spray off him, dude. He's losing it dude, for we us. We both man. got hit and you know it, man. How would you know? You're too busy listening to techno. It's country. What's the matter? They both suck. Ladies! Ladies! There will be plenty of time for fighting later. Believe me. But right now, we've got ourselves a war to win. Tattletale. Dude. What are we waiting for? Let's blow them away. No, 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 no. I've got a better idea. Let's cut them off on the other side of that trailer, put together a little surprise party for the losers. Oh, that's a fabulous idea. And now, Tom? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll put on my party hat. It's a spirit? Come on. This is gonna be so stupendous. We put like a dash of balloons over here and like a dollop of flowers over here. It's gonna be so festive. Stop stopping with that crappy accent. Sorry, my good man. Please, accept my apologies. Ow, dudes, that hurts. My apology, my good man. <laughs> God, I hate all of you. Shut up. I hope you guys get shot. Huh? Do he push me? How do you know put your mask down? Down. If for God's do you need to do it? You don't. I thought you shot Tom and Carl. I did. I what a bunch of cheaters. Guys, guys, come on, this way. Oh, I'll take care of this. You got a power drill and some duct tape? That only works in the movies. You right, got a better idea? Oh, well, after you, Miss Smarty Pan. Looks like someone's living here. Well, if it's Goldilocks, she's developed quite an appetite. Yeah, and apparently she's given up porridge for pizza. Well, she's got good taste, too. It's pepperoni. Gross! You don't know how old that is. You obviously know nothing about Italian cuisine. This is like fine wine. And this, my friend, is aged to perfection. Anybody? No. <clears throat> You're disgusting. Thank you. Don't get too comfy, guys. As soon as they're out of sight, we're out of here. Like shooting fish in a bowl. Shots in. Come on. You thinking what I'm thinking? No, no, no. Once again, I've got a better idea. You're probably yeah, right. On. You're so smart. <gasps> Oops. Smooth one. I'm in here. Did I just hear a buffalo snore? <laughs> No, it was your mom. Why don't you come out here and say that? You didn't. I did. Oh, he did. <laughs> when I get out of here, you're going to regret the day you were born. Schultz, we're all shaking out here, aren't we, guys? In our boots. Oh. Let me out of here, guys. This isn't cool. Oh. oh, looks like we got company, Schultz. What? Smell you later. Guys, Two. guys, don't leave. 
You don't trust me? I can't carry the pizza? Trust you, Paul? Trust you, Paul, like the bingo game? It was a bingo game for old people. All you had to do was grab the money box and get out of there. How hard could that be? That wasn't my fault. That old lady's wheelchair was souped up or something. She was pulling wheelies, Stan. She looked like the devil on wheels. Ah, shut up! You're like that old hag's teeth fell out. Crazy mob old geezers would have killed you. I risked my life, and you couldn't even grab the right box. You didn't say what box. You just said, grab the box, stupid. What box? I mean, there was lots of boxes. I didn't know what box to take. I just took a box. You could have pointed or something. I'm not Superman. Uh, I don't have x-ray vision. Will you zip it? You could have opened the boxes and looked inside, you stupid moron. I was scared. There was hundreds of them coming after us, drooling, farting, and they smell like jello and bananas. Ah, knock it off. I've been having nightmares, Stan. I wake up in a cold sweat, and the air smells like an old stinky wash rag. Did you lock this door when we left? I don't know. I told you to lock this door. You better start doing like I tell you. I was so scared, I thought I peed my pants. Turns out it was that big old fat guy that wouldn't get off of me. You've been playing bingo without me? No. I made you what you are today. You'd be nothing without me. I wouldn't cheat on you, Stan. Yeah, well, you better not. Nobody else would put up with you but me. Well, that was pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about getting caught with your pants down. Shut up. Help! Help me! Whoa, whoa, Jake, Jake what, what happened, man? Oh, I got sparky, but, but everyone just kept shooting. For one or two, I may have had a Don't worry about it. One simple duty, and I can't even do that right. Jake, they cheated. We won, man. Hey, losers! Where have you been? The little green man's been up here crying for you guys. I took out Carl and Tom down by the ravine. The game was over the moment they took a shot at Jake. You guys know the rules. Oh, I don't see any hits. Guys, did you get hit? Heck <laughs> no. Huh. Well, that's two against one, Dusty, so unless you got some witnesses, game over. Do it, Sparky! Is that the best you got? Anyway, like I was saying, adios. Yeah. Adios, non-amigos. We don't want to see you guys hanging around here anymore. You got it? We got permission from Mr. Godfrey to camp out here. Well, you don't have permission from us, so get packing. Dude, it's last week of summer vacation. Can't we all just get along? Don't you ever get in my face like that again. If you do, I'll kick your butt. And if I see any of you losers in this forest again, I'll kick your butt. Any questions? I have a question. Is it true that you and Carl are lovers? Yeah. How do you function without what most people call a brain? I heard you guys shave your legs. Is this true? All right, that's enough, guys. Look, Sparky, we've all been hanging around these woods forever, and we'd be happy to share them with you, but we aren't just going to hand them over. Then I guess we got ourselves a war. Yeah, I guess we do. Watch yourself. Mr. Godfrey? Wow, 
Look at you guys. How's it camping out so far? Well, we haven't actually camped out yet. It's still our first day. Um, you mind if I use your hose? Well, I guess you better. What happened? Fall in a can of paint? Might as well have. Team Sparky decided to use me for paintball practice. You know, get that real-life moving target feel. <laughs> We're moving quite fast enough, huh? Whatever gave you that idea. They shot the poor guy at point-blank range. He didn't even have a chance. And now they're saying it's their forest and they're trying to kick us off your property. Is that so? Well, as I told you before, the forest is for all you young people. Now, if you can't figure out how to get along, I'm going to have to ask all of you to leave. You know, I don't want to do that. Maybe you could try a peace offering. Give them something of value. Kill them with kindness. Yeah, I, I, I just don't think that works as well as it used to. Yeah, I think that's kind of old school. Old school, huh? <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll figure something out. And in the meantime, you better set up camp. There's not much daylight left. Thanks, Mr. G. Yeah, thanks a lot. My pleasure. Just be careful and keep that paintball business. Inside the fence, stay away from the creek. Right. I don't want to see paint all over my forest. Oh, Mr. Godfrey, uh, did you know that there are two guys camping out in a trailer in your field? I meant to tell you about that. Those fellows are going to be staying there for a little while. I hope you'll respect their privacy. We will, Mr. Godfrey. I'm sure you will. Well, good night. I'll see you in the morning. See you in the morning, Mr. G. Hey, darling. How you doing, sunshine? Stan? It's your lucky day, baby. I told you I'll be back for you. What, no hugs for Stan the man? What are you doing here? Came to see you, baby. You left me 14 years ago when I was having our child. What's so different now? <laughs> You're the mother of a 14-year-old <laughs> baby. You haven't changed a bit. Look, Darlene, I know you're probably a little bit upset, but I'm on my way down to Mexico to start a new business venture, and I don't know when I'm coming back. And I want to see my son. He doesn't even know who you are, Stan. Well, that's why I'm here. I want to get to know him. I can't believe this. After 14 years, you decided you want to see your son? People change, Darlene. I'm sure some people do, but until you see that you're not the only person on this planet, you're just going to be the same old self-centered Stan. Oh, Darlene, you, you know, Darlene. Have fun in Mexico. Uh, hey, Darlene. Darlene. Mama said. Darlene! She's always right so I know what Sparky's problem is. His home life probably sucks, so he's taking it out on us. He's always got to be around someone he can control. Whoa, listen to you. There was a kid just like him on the Dr. Linda show. Totally screwed up. Then why don't we just give him the place? I mean, the stress levels involved in a situation like this are unhealthy. And the negative sociological effects could have drastic consequences. Look, if we give up now, what next? Getting kicked out of our own backyards? No thanks. He's right. If we leave now, it's all we'll hear about at the school. Well, at least we got one quiet night under the stars together. Might be our last night. What do you say? Let's make the best of it. every day. Mom, we can see the house from here. It's not like we're on an African safari. I don't care if you're camping out in the backyard. If you guys are going to be out here on your own, you're going to call home twice a day. Deal? Deal? We heard you, Mom. Keep an eye on your sister. If she ends up with even a scratch on her body... I can take care of myself, Mom. 
I'll call the other moms and let them know you're okay. Thank you, Miss Rhodes. You guys be careful. We will. I love you. Love you, Mom. I love you too, Mrs. Rhodes. Oh, your mom's so hot. Shut up, Schultz. You shut up. Both of you shut up. If she only knew the disastrous detour the expedition had taken, four young lives may have been saved. Don't worry about it, Jake. By tomorrow, Sparky will have forgotten about the whole thing. And we can spend the rest of the week investigating the mystery of the bingo ball boneheads. Well, hope you're right. Wow, that's a pretty heavy-duty rash. I don't I don't think I've ever seen it that bad. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go home and put something on this. Good plan, man. Is there anything we can do? Yeah, could you scratch my right cheek? Gross. Guess not. Well, good luck with Sparky. Yeah, and good luck with that. Well, see you guys in school. I hope. Bummer. Hey, these look pretty good, buddy. I know you're there, jelly fingers. Just blind, not stupid. You was just standing there all spooky. Spooky? Spooky some clown waving his hand in front of your face. That's what's spooky. I need a fan, I'd, I'd get one. Oh, he, he didn't mean nothing by it. What do you know? That's the last jelly field. Sheriff Thomas finds out, he's gonna hunt you down. Hope you're prepared for that. Ooh, yeah, we'll take our chances. Hey, you guys ain't from here. Where are you from? Well, actually I'm from Tennessee, but my brother played bass for Elvis, so we followed him out to Vegas. Right now, that Indian fellow's letting us use his place for a little while. I just asked where we're from. Not your whole life story, stupid. Well, I'll be 350. Good old Mr. Godfrey. Let's be calling White Crody, tell you that? Sure does know his Indian history, doesn't he? Uh, well, uh, we haven't actually talked to him that much. Uh, seems like a good old boy. Hey. You got change for a 20? Maybe. Depends whose face is on the front. Um, <clears throat> Thomas Jefferson? You wouldn't believe how many people try to cheat me. Good thing you boys are honest. Wouldn't want to have to take you out. These hands are registered. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, lucky for us, we're honest. Huh, Paul? Right. So I guess uh, White Crow probably told you all about the ancient engine burial mound, huh? Burial mound? What are you talking about? Well, nobody's ever actually seen it. Legend has it there's an ancient engine burial mound somewhere on White Crow's property. Now during the gold rush, his great great granddaddy, Whispering Crow, they called him that because they didn't have no teeth, was walking along this old right up riverbed one day, and uh, he trips over a gold nugget so big, he couldn't even pick it up. Well, he has it turned into coins. He takes it back to the tribe. Well, <laughs> story has it, the tribe hated him so much, they didn't even care about his dang gold. So, he buries it so nobody can have it. Curses the whole tribe. You know, calling them names like horse farts, bird weenies, duck dookie, coyote pucky. Uh. Then what? Oh, ah, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, curse must have worked. Cause 
half the tribe died of some strange disease. And then, old Whispering Crow himself died. Said he was struck by lightning. Said there was smoke coming out of his butt. <laughs> I would have liked to have seen that. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, legend has it that anybody that finds that gold, the curse of Whispering Crow start again. Unleash it a power so evil that even the devil himself can stop it! You know, I kind of like you, boys. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Cross my palm with another Jefferson, and I just might say you the last known map to Whispering Crow's uh, uh, treasure. This better not be a scam. Excuse me, excuse me, sir. Well, thanks, Dolores. That map will tell you where not to look. When you see an X, that's the spot where some dang fool dug and didn't find himself deadly squat. <laughs> I don't see any stupid Xs. See any O's? You old lunatic. Let's get out of here, Paul, for this Moron tries to tell us another stupid story. Oh, yeah? We'll see who's crazy when you finally go with my map. And when you do, I want my cut. And an apology! Hooligans. <laughs> It's just us, it's just us. I, I got oh. Twinkies. Oh, have a seat, boys. I'm surprised to see you back, Tommy. You here for the full tour or what? Yeah, I guess so. Huh. You stay here all night? Yeah. My mom was talking about the loser who claims to be my dad. And that was my cue to bail. I didn't know you had a dad. I don't. She's that scumbag who left my mom before she had me. Moved to Vegas, seek fame and fortune. <laughs> I bet she's far from famous. She's probably sharing a cell with a guy named Spike. You don't want to meet with the dude? <sighs> no. I'd rather be here with you guys. Nobody to listen to but Mother Nature. Yeah. And <laughs> she don't talk much. Exactly. Did you know if a tree fell in the woods, and nobody was around to hear it, that that tree would still fall? <laughs> yeah. You're joking, right? No, I heard it somewhere. No, no, I, I, I think it's if a tree fell in the woods and no one was around to hear it, would it still make a sound? Oh, is that it, Einstein? I'm just telling you how it goes, man. Save for someone who gives you crap. Where are you going? I'm gonna take a whiz if you don't mind. Did you want to help? No, I'm good, thank you. You sure? I'm gonna be right over here. I'm, I'll call you if I need you, or you need me, or whatever. Shut up. Why'd you have to say that, man? You know you're gonna make him mad. I'm scared of him. So, Sparky, when you're done with that, you wanna go see if uh, Dusty and the weenie babies are still hanging around? That's the plan. Sweet. And you know what? After they're gone, we can bring our own lady friends out here. Oh yeah, and what lady friends would that be, Romeo? <laughs> we'll get some. Get out of my... <laughs> what did you do that for? I felt like it. Yo, don't do it again. Or what? You kick my butt. You got me scared, Tommy boy. This sucks. Oh, be quiet, you big baby. <laughs> be all right. <laughs> Give me that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I brought him. Sit down. I just want a Twinkie. Sit. You want this? Yeah. Okay. No, don't let. Oh. Why are you going to get the other side? No, don't. Eat up, big boy. I hate you. You're wasting all my mom's Twinkies. 
I was like, you're my still, mom. you idiot. Don't talk about my mom like that. It tastes like crap. My mom bought these. They're expensive. God, we need to bring some good food. Talk to my mom. I don't buy the groceries. Shut up. Talk to your mom. There's something wrong with you. I gotta get you into anger management classes. Are you still talking? Kind of. Why don't you shove that Twinkie in your mouth and shut up? I love you so much. There they are. Are those shovels? Yeah. And the cooler. I bet they're gonna bury a dead body. You watch way too much TV, Schultzy. Let's go. What about this? This looks like an Indian burial mound. Heck, I wouldn't mind burying you here. I guess it's about as good as any place to bury somebody. I knew it. If that blind dude is right, we're gonna be living like Garth Brooks. Yeah. Maybe I'll finally be able to afford one of them remote control airplanes. Paul, you could probably get yourself a real airplane if we find that dang gold. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get to work here. Right here? Yeah, right there, bro. The legend of Whispering Crow strikes again. It's hard. It's hard, man. Yeah, it looks tough. We've covered every inch of this place. If there was any gold, we would have found it by now. You want, if we don't have all night, you want to dig a little faster? Man. Hey, 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 hey! Will you? You got a shovel? What'd you Come bring two now. shovels Come for? You want now. to use them Come both? Come on now. Just keep it rolling. Well, give me that other shovel. I, I'll use that too. Cannot find good help anymore. <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 what is that? What do we have here? Looks like an arrowhead. Hey, it's an arrowhead, all right. I think we're on to something, little buddy. Tijuana, here we come. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what should we do? It's an arrowhead, all right. Keep digging. We gotta tell Mr. Godfrey. These guys are bad news. This an arrowhead? Yep. It's an old one. Hey, you're getting dirt on my boots. I'm sorry, Stan. You wanna give me a hand here? Just give me a hand. We can do this a lot quicker, man. Good job. That's funny. <laughs> give me a hand. We <laughs> are you wanna? Mr. Godfrey? Hey, how's the camping out? So far, so good. Dusty had something he wanted to ask you. What is it, Dusty? Well, we've heard a lot of stories and we were just wondering if that Indian burial mound was for real. <laughs> I wish I had a dollar for every time I've been asked that one. People have been talking about a sacred burial mound since, since I was your age. Gold, treasure, priceless artifacts, the curse of Whispering Crow. I've heard them all, Dusty. And since it is such a sacred place, I think people should just leave it alone. Well, the only reason we're asking is because we saw those two guys digging back in your forest. Digging, were they? Yeah, we overheard them saying that they were looking for the burial mound. Yeah, they found an arrowhead. Whereabouts? In the woods, by the water tank. We just thought you should know. Well, well, I appreciate it. 
I should have known better than to allow strangers on my property in the first place. Chalk that one up as a lesson for me. So are you going to kick him out? <laughs> no, I can't do that. I already spent the rent money. And if this drought keeps strangling my corn, I'm going to have to sell part of my property just to keep things together. Uh, can't, can't you get some kind of help from the government? I'm afraid not, Dusty. My tribe lost their federal status over 100 years ago. As far as the government's concerned, my people don't exist. We're a dying breed. Well, if there's anything we can do to help, uh, just let us know. Yeah, anything. I wish the world was filled with hearts like yours. Sure would be a better place. Hmm. Well, in the meantime, I want you to stay away from those fellows. I'll take care of it, all right? Okay. Promise? We promise. <laughs> Good. Now go have some fun. I can't dig no more. Yeah, it's probably not the spot. I think if we was hunting dogs, they'd probably say we lost the scent. We say we go grab some more beers and rethink our strategy. That is the best idea you've had all day. Oh, I thought so. Go ahead, go get me some more beer. Well, I guess you couldn't help me get out of this hole, could you? Oh. Hurry up. And I don't like warm beer. Make sure it's cold. I got you cold beer. I can't believe those two slime balls were digging up Mr. Godfrey's land. Hit me. Yeah, there's definitely something going on weird with those two. What do you got? What was that? I'll give you one guess. This campground is full. Go back to your little hole. Ugh. Whoa, whoa, turn off the light. All right, now get out of my way. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. You don't know what those things can do. They're paint grenades. You pull the pin, they explode, and shoot paint everywhere. It's pretty self-explanatory. If they don't blow his friggin' head off, they're not powerful enough. Don't be stupid. You'll be covered in paint by the time you get out the door. So what? If I don't do something now, they're never going to leave us alone. Pull the grenade, throw the pin, and wait. No! Oh, ow, 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 hey, that was a wow, ow, ow, no! Stick. What's it look like? Looks like you're destroying my property. That's what it looks like. Really? Tell you what. You don't destroy my property, I won't destroy yours. You must have all timers, you stupid old geezer. You know what I'm talking about. You're gonna live to regret this one, buddy. I don't think so, buddy.
can see. Wake up, stupid! At least they know who they're messing with now. Yeah, thanks for sticking up for us, Schultzy. Hey, do me a favor, all right? Shut up. Hey. Hey, Mr. G. It's amazing what a new paint job could do for a place. Hey, what about me? That's a good look for you, Schultzy. Sparky paid us a little visit last night. Rained on your parade, did he? What you guys need is a new hideout. And I know the perfect place. Why don't you clean up? We'll go take a look. What is this? Well, that's a petroglyph, Dusty. My people didn't have books, so they recorded their stories like that. Oh, kind of like a library? Yes, kind of like a library. This place was also a, a safe haven from our enemies. What does it mean? That's a story that's been told for many generations. Its message is what my people live by. It tells of how the Great Spirit created our Mother Earth to take care of us, and how we should respect and, and care for her as well. The Great Spirit tells us that all people are truly brothers and sisters, that we should all live together in peace. Cool. What's not so cool is many people have forgotten the words of the Great Spirit. and are lost. I pray that they find their way back. Why are you showing this to us? Because I like you. And because I know I can trust you to keep a secret. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. <laughs> I know it is. Yes, I know. Are you sure about this, guys? I mean, we promised Mr. Godfrey we'd stay away from here. No, we promised Mr. Godfrey we'd stay away from those fellows. We didn't say anything about this trailer. <sighs> Ooh, trail mix. What are you doing? What? I'm hungry, I didn't get any breakfast. A box of toaster pastries doesn't count as breakfast? Oh, makes a good appetizer. They're gonna notice if something's missing. Come on, we're supposed to be looking for clues. Okay. Uh-oh. Apples, everyone get crazy, it's dangerous. Look at this, you know, this is probably some kind of crazy new age grenade or something. Uh-oh, look, we got a book on apples and some apples in the basket. We got both. Oh my goodness, they're steady enough. They're gonna make some sort of weapon of mass apples. Shut up! Ow! Stop kicking me. Hey guys, you gotta see this. What is it? What? So what? I like to play bingo. Oh. Ouch. These guys are a little more than your average bingo players. Yeah, they uh, play to win, huh? Stan? Hey, darling. Happy birthday. You know, you look prettier and younger than the last time I saw you. 
What's this, um, uh, 39 or 40? 36. Oh, well, you don't look it. You know what, Stan, you're like a weed. I keep trying to get rid of them, but they just keep coming back. Oh, hey, that reminds me. I got you these roses. Hope they bring a little sunshine into your life. It's not gonna work, Stan. What? Why can't we just be friends? You know, we do have a child together. You could be a little more mature about this for the child's sake. Oh, that would be the responsible thing to do, wouldn't it? Yes! Okay, so if we're gonna do the responsible thing, why don't you pay me the 14 years of child support you owe me? Fine! You know, I got some gold investments that are just about to pay off. I don't want I'll... your money, Stan! All the money in the world can't give back what you took from me and my son! I can't believe I'm even talking to you right now! I grew up on country music, it runs through my veins. I drive my truck to work and I drive my truck to play. I wear my boots and jeans everywhere I go. I like my living fast and I love my women slow. I've been a lot of places, seen a lot of things. There's nothing that is better than the country to me. Well, I've been out of the country, but you can't get the country out of me. Whoa, uh, kids, I, uh, how you doing? I didn't see you. Well, you, how long you, well, listen, you got to check out all this equipment, make sure, well, it's fine. What can I do for you? Well, we've been camping out at Mr. Godfrey's, and we think we might have found two thieves hiding out back in his woods. Two thieves? Why don't y'all just come on in, shut the door, and we'll, we'll talk about this. All right, two thieves out at the Godfrey place. Now, Dusty, wasn't it you that spotted Bigfoot over at Burnett's Creek about two years ago? And Schultz, I think you said something about a UFO at the football field. And now y'all expect me to believe that there's two thieves hiding out up at the Godfrey place. Oh, we're telling the truth, Sheriff. I found this in the trailer. Oh? <clears throat> out of state address. At least it's not out of the solar system. <laughs> just <laughs> Okay, look, kids. How about next week I drive up to your house, let you run the siren? How would that be? You gotta believe us, Sheriff. You're the only one who can help. Look, I've been the Sheriff for 30 years, and I have seen it all, and I'm telling you that whatever you think you saw is not gonna amount to a whole lot of nothing. Well, I hope you're right. Let's go, guys. Oh, kids. Yeah? How about you get me a couple of jelly filled, and I'll just forget to mention this to your folks. <laughs> oh, thanks. Sweet. Sweet? That's good. Yeah. OK. <laughs> Solar system. <laughs> I killed myself. Oh. Well, you get out of the country. But you can't get the country out of me. So now what? We've got to find someone who will believe us. <laughs> yeah, but who's going to listen to a bunch of kids? Really? That's it. Other kids? No, you, you can't be serious. Not Sparky. What do we got to lose? Smiley, smiley. Everybody loves a smiley. Sparky, look what I made you. I call him Spike. That's great. You didn't even look. You don't appreciate me. I do all this work for you and you don't even care. Boss, watch your back. We're not here to fight. Then you better be here to say your goodbyes. We came here to make a truce with you guys. We need your help. <laughs> truce? Help? <laughs> What do I look like? The Red Cross? <laughs> the Red Cross. Look, we think those two guys living in that trailer might be thieves. Well, then why don't you just call the cops then? We did. We told the sheriff, but he didn't believe us. Well, I kind of find it hard to believe myself, don't you guys? Yeah, they're definitely up to something. I believe them. Well, who asked you? You did? Well, keep it to yourself. 
I'll tell you what. If you guys can get this flag back by uh, this time tomorrow, then you're back in. Not gonna happen. If, if we can get our flag back, he'll stop messing with us. That's right. See? I can be nice. Yeah, but what's the catch? Well, if you can't get your flag back, I don't want to see any of your ugly faces here ever again. Ever again? What if we get your flag? <laughs> if, if you get our flag, I'll kiss your butt and grant you three wishes. You got yourself a deal. See you losers on the battlefield. Not before we see you. <laughs> Let them in. All right, wait here. Paul, leave it running this time. Daddy loves you, Susie. You're the only one that loves Daddy. Susie, you're the only one. I'm sorry to bother you, sir, but my car won't start. Would you mind giving me a jump? Uh, I don't know. Pretty please. I reckon. If it don't take too long. Daddy loves you, too. Oh, uh, can I help you? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, I was, uh, just checking out these beautiful shovels here. Uh, I left mine back home in New York. You know, uh, uh, I heard you come in and all. I mean, you, you didn't surprise me or nothing. Because, you know, I got the uh, senses of a cat. Doctor says I got the heart of an 18-year-old. Here, here, take a look. <laughs> Knock it off, you old moron! Hey, you're not from New York, liar! Yeah, and neither is this gun. Now put your hands up or I'll blow your head off! Can't put my hands up. There's no war injury. 1968, Vietnam. There was hundreds of them. Me with just a bayonet! I remember it like it was yesterday. It was 6 a.m. Uh, no, it was 7.15. No, I was right the first time. It was six. Shut up, was I'm not kidding. One more word out of you, you'll be telling your stories in heaven. Now empty that cash drawer and with your mouth shut! I really appreciate this. I used to be a member of the roadside services, but I never used it. It's no problem. Really? Well, it figures. The one time I need it, I'm not even a member. Oh, goody! I'll be able to make the shuffleboard tournament. Oh, you're my hero! What do you think you're doing? Oh. Get in that truck, Romeo! Oh, take me with you! Now you got me mad! Give me back my money! I don't even know your name. It's Paul. Thanks, Paul. I'll never forget you for as long as I live. Paul! Go! Give me back my money! Go! Well, I'm a standing on every car. Somebody got to finally rob me blind! <laughs> I give it back my money! Oh, sorry, Clarence. <laughs> but how do you think I feel? I've 
just missed the shuffleboard competition. Ah, oh, shut up, you stupid foreigner, and get your hands off me! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Yeah, you, excuse me. Yeah, excuse me, you with the cane. I don't care, move inside, thank you. Excuse me, young lady. Hey, little woman, what's going on? Two guys just robbed the store and they went that way. <laughs> you, know, you know what, pardon me, but I left some water boiling back on the stove. I'll be right back, okay? <laughs> okay, excuse me, thank you. There's no need to panic. All right, Clarence, let's start with you. Can you describe any of the perpetrator's physical characteristics? By that, I mean height, weight, hair color, that sort of thing. Is that supposed to be funny, Sheriff? You know, I've been blind ever since my brother threw me in with the hog. And... <sighs> yeah, he might have got my eyes, but I killed him with my bare teeth. 1,200 pounds, sissy. Your brother was 1,200 pounds? Whew, that's a big man. All right, ma'am, how about you? Did you get a look at either of the perpetrators? Oh, yes, Sheriff. I had a real good look at the driver. He was a hunk of burning love. O off the record, of course. All right, look, folks, now I need some help here if I'm going to solve this case. I need some kind of physical description. Well, he had pretty brown eyes and a real cute butt. See where this is going. If she was close enough to give him a butt massage, she must have seen something, Sheriff. Fine, fine, Clarence. Did you get a look at a license plate, ma'am? Maybe the maker model of the vehicle. Bite me. Excuse me? Yes, sir. Did I just hear you right? Yes, Sheriff, bite me. Right here in front of all these people? No, the license plate. It said, bite me. Oh, how romantic. Oh! Oh, I'm with you. It's one of those vanity plates, huh? Oh, believe me, he had something to be vain about. He was gorgeous. Paul. The one name I'll remember till the end of my life. Really? Paul. Now that's helpful. Yeah, and his, his partner uh, tried to throw me off with a fake New York accent. But I knew the whole time was one of those fellas staying out to Godfrey's place. Just waiting for the right moment to make my move. It's the same clown that took my last jelly filled. Are you sure, Clarence? Yeah, I'm sure. I got some stuck in my mustache here. You want to taste? No, no. I mean, are you sure it was one of those fellas staying out at the Godfrey place? You doubting me, Sheriff? You know I was a war hero and a Cub Scout. And who was the cook every year at the Lions Club pancake breakfast until I got my face stuck on the dang brello? That's no reason to take away a man's dignity. I know. I know, Clarence, <laughs> I know, and if you'll remember, I was the one that got the spatula and pried you off while everyone else just laughed. <laughs> I can still hear the laughter when I'm crying myself to sleep sometimes, Sheriff. I know, I know. It's all part of wearing the badge, son. Well, thanks for your help here, folks. Now, if y'all just sit back, you'll watch the wheels of justice roll into motion. God bless the U.S. of A. Mikey, you want to hold it down in there? I'm trying to make a phone call. You got it, Sheriff. Thank you. Clarence. 
Way get out of highway yeah, patrol. Hi. Yeah, this is Sheriff Thomas over Battle Fork PD. Battle what? Battle Fork. Battle Fork? Yeah. Listen, I want to know if you'd run a Nevada plate for me. Okay, go ahead. What's the number? Ready? Bite me. Let me get this straight. Did you say bite me? Yeah, that's right. Bite me. Bite me? Are you joking? Why are you? Hello? Hello? Go ahead, Mikey, rattle away. That stupid blind clerk could make a better getaway driver than you, Don Juan. How would you know? You were unconscious. Besides, I've told you time and time again, I'm not a good driver. Well, that pretty much makes you good for nothing, doesn't it? You can't drive, you can't steal. What good are you? You're useless. I helped that old lady start her car, didn't I? Yeah, that was a big help. You almost got me killed. I'm sorry. What the heck is all that racket? <laughs> You're not gonna believe this. Looks like old white crows on the warpath. <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, I'm thinking exactly what you're thinking. Let's get the shovels. Let me give you a hand. Great. Thanks. Grab the box and get out, man. Let us right to it. Is it is he dead? I don't know. Gonna be rich, Stan. Not if you don't get busy. Jake, did the license say bite me? <laughs> yeah, that's the truck. So the truck was stolen near the location of the suspect's vehicle? Yeah, not too bright. Have you seen them? Well, yeah, that truck was involved in a robbery here today. Well, they're armed, Sheriff, and the FBI should handle this. 
I know, I know, and I appreciate your concern, yeah, they are armed. but I have been running this town for 30 years, and I am more than capable of bringing in those yahoos myself. I'm sure you are, Sheriff. What the? Sheriff. Hello. Sheriff. Hello. Sheriff. You okay, Hello. Sheriff? Y yes, I'm fine. I'm calling the FBI. I can handle this. Yep. I tell you what, sir, I will get back to you. Hey, you sound very inexperienced, Sheriff. Well, good day to you too, sir. You boys picked a bad day to mess with Blueford P. Thomas! Silly puppy. Twinkies are for kids. All right, you guys keep an eye on Sleeping Beauty while I go get our flag back. Good luck. No, Toto, not the Twinkies. You get constipated. Silly puppy. I'm hungry. I have to go to the bathroom. Shut up. It's kind of ironic. Don't you think? <laughs> oh. It's getting kind of squishy. I think I better go. Oh, man. Shut up. Quick, get out of here. Shut up. Hey, what are you guys doing here? Tom, you scared me. We came to get our flag back. It's about time. You mean you're gonna let us? Yeah, it's never a really ours to begin with. Hey, thanks, man. You're all right. Yeah, it's pretty cool of you. It's all good. So, uh, well, I'll see you around. You got a crush on him, don't you? No, I just think he's a nice guy. <laughs> yeah, right. Toto, no, Toto. You get the runs when you eat those. I don't want to clean it up. Woo! <laughs> this is a big hole, Paul. Yeah. Took you a lot longer to dig this time, didn't it, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. I thought for sure this would be it. <laughs> I just want to shake y'all's hands. I just, I just want to shake y'all's hand. <laughs> you are angels sent from God. Do you have any idea how long I've been trying to get old Godfrey to get somebody down here to dig this septic tank? And what you done, what you do, what you boys done, just digging. Working all straight through the night. It, 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 uh, <laughs> you just don't see pride and dedication like that anymore. And for free, he said, for free. Oh, I don't know. Fuck me. If I can even keep him crying. <laughs> and to think that I had given up on humanity. I had. And then you two. You two patriots. You just renewed my faith. A, a faith that was all, all but lost and gone forever. And you, you have made me proud to be an American 
again. I am liberated. Wait, well, he's saluted. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get the wife. Would you try to just you know, clean up just a little bit before I get back? Oh, sir. Do you think somebody's playing a dirty trick on us, Stan? Septic tank. Stan, do you think so? Stan, Stan! Carl! What? Wake up! Get up! Hey, 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 hey! Wake up! Did you have a good night's sleep, honey? Yeah, huh? but I had this terrible dream, and you were there, and Tom was... Where's Toto? Your nightmares are starting. They took both of our flats. Get up! Sorry! I'm Get your stuff on. What is this? What's my map? My mom bought it. Get up! Me. Get your stuff. I have calluses. They took our flat. Get this out of my tent. Get your stuff. Let's go. Hey, our flag is gone. Yeah, no kidding. Why are you in my tent? What are you putting on makeup? Carl, do not try me this morning. Let's go! I'm dying. Oh, Carl. Get out of here. Hold up. There's no one here, boss. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Boss, it's not the tin's fault. It's not the tin's fault. Get my gun. There's no one here. Get your stuff and let's it's go. It's Tom's fault. He said he would oh, watch for oh, me I for five you. minutes. Yeah, he's I losing it for going. it. I am not kidding. I will shoot you. I said I'm sorry. No, just Why keep walking. Ow. You know, I have a migraine. What is this? It's not mine. You put the cash in a safe place, I hope. Well, it's in the bingo box. Safe place as any, I reckon. Oh, really? Get in the truck! Uh-oh. Hello. Godfrey, Sheriff Thomas here. Yeah. Yeah, I just got confirmation those boys staying out of your place. Well, they're wanted for attempted robbery of a bingo parlor over in Nevada, and it appears that they're also responsible for the holdup of my little buddy Clarence over at Fast Stop Number 2 here in town yesterday. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. I got all kinds of evidence on those knuckleheads, so you just sit tight, because I'm going to be right over to pick them up. I'm not worried about those guys. Go on ahead, guys. I gotta tie my shoe. Hey, what about our deal? There aren't any deals in war.
Someone get a rope. We, we, we've got one back at camp. Hi, Clarence. How are things? You didn't hear? You mean you didn't hear about the two fellers staying out of Godfrey's robbery yesterday? No, I didn't. They better pray the sheriff gets to them before I do. These hands are registered, you know. Gave my last treasure map, too. That was a big mistake. Now I gotta print some more. Nobody appreciates anything anymore. Back in my day, we looked out for each other. Looked out for each other back in now. Never would have been able to save all those hundreds of people on that sinking aircraft carrier if it didn't have well, a little bit of help. <laughs> Darlene? Darlene? Darlene! You forgot, Darlene, you forgot your goodies, honey! Giving her a tune up there, Chief? What do you guys want? Looking for the owner of this. I think they got something that belongs to us. Looks like one of the kids' radios. But I doubt that they have anything that belongs to you. Yeah, we'll see about that. Get in the truck. What are you gonna do, shoot me? <coughs> are you gonna be okay? Yeah, just knocked the wind out of me. Take it easy, we're gonna get you out of here, all right? Is she gonna be okay? You better hope so. Hey, I'm sorry, it was an accident. She's a girl, man, what's the matter with you? Well, she was choking me, what was I supposed to do? I'll throw off a cliff, I guess. Shut up. Well, I've been out of the country, but you can't take the country out of me. Been away from home, but my heart is always... All right, boys, let's see where you're at. <coughs> you you want to try to get up? Crow? Nah, it's me, Dusty. You you got hit on the head there. I, you may have a concussion. The gold. The gold. Huh? We found the gold. We are we. Slowly. Don't you worry, Godfrey. We'll get you out of here in no time. We almost forgot our shovels, Paul. <laughs> Dog. Look what I got. <laughs> yeah. Here, these things scare me. Gussie, are you guys there? Come in, this is an emergency. Yeah, go ahead, Jake. I got some inside info on the guys from the trailer. They're wanted by the FBI for attempted robbery in a bingo hall in Vegas. And yesterday, they hit up the store in town for 500 bucks. Wow, really? Yeah, everyone's talking about it. You guys gotta get out of there, dude. We got some news for you, too. Oh, yeah? What's that? We just found the gold, dude. No way, where? Up on Rattlesnake Hill, down by the bottom of the cliff. Dude, that's awesome! Get out of here. Well, Geronimo, looks like you're taking us to Rattlesnake Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
I think you hit his head, man. Ah. All right, Sarah, we're gonna pull you up. Are you ready? Ready. All right, here we go, guys. One, two, three, pull. Here we go. Hard. Here we go. All right, slow it down a little bit. Come on. You got it? Mm -hmm. All right, keep pulling. Bring her up, bring her up, slow. Thanks, guys. Sorry, Sarah, I didn't mean to hurt you. I know. Hey, kids. Been listening to your little broadcast. Came here to congratulate you on finding my gold. It's all here, Stan. Lucky for you now, where's the gold? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm only gonna say this one more time. Where's the gold? Stan, what are you doing? They're just kids. Shut up, Paul! The gold's down here. Then bring it up here or this punk gets it. Well, looky what we got here. You're a little late, Sheriff. I got your gun. Well, if you're gonna shoot that boy, you might want to get some bullets. I've been meaning to get some. By the way, what caliber you think that is? See, I, I think it's a 45. But Clarence, he thinks it's a 38. Now, what do you think? I don't know. It kind of looks like. Hey, hold it right there, Sheriff. I swear I will push this punk off the cliff. Who the heck is that? Darlene! Stan! What are you doing here? Let go of my son! Right now! What did you say? Let go of my son! You're my dad. No wonder I'm so screwed up. All right, Stan. Come on down. It's all over. Sheriff, sure, come on a minute. Darlene? I'll be over here. You're all I ever wanted. Just didn't feel like I was good enough for you. I thought your lives would be better off without me. I tried. I, I tried to stay away for your sake. I just couldn't, Darlene. I love you both too much. Let's go, son. Ow, watch your head. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> That's the most beautiful thing I ever heard, Stan. Forget Elvis, you're my hero. <laughs> well, let's see you guys finally work things out. Hey, one force, one people, dude. I wouldn't go that far. That last week of summer vacation was an experience that would be etched in our minds for the rest of our lives. Heck, it was etched in the minds of anyone who picked up a magazine or newspaper. Oh, 
Mr. Godfrey told us that he came up with that story about the curse of Whispering Crow to keep people from finding the burial ground. But since we found the gold, Mr. Godfrey set up college funds for all us kids, and he still had plenty left over for himself. But the best thing that came out of all of this was that we'd finally won the battle that really mattered. We had all won each other's friendship, and thanks to Mr. Godfrey, we learned that the forest wasn't meant to be owned or controlled by anyone. It was like the Great Spirit said, Mother Earth was meant to be shared by all living creatures, even Sparky. What? Did you hear anything I just said? I don't know how important could it be. Man, look, our stories, they got a gel. And that's the total wrong line. OK, chill. <laughs> Give me back my gun! I mean, what the? I got my gun! Give me back my money! <laughs> I'll tell you what. If you guys can get... Whee! <laughs> <laughs> What do you think you're doing? What's it look like? Looks like you're destroying my property. Making me a walking stick. Looks like I'm walking on your lines is what it looks like. Stepping all over them. <laughs> you are. Whippersnapper. <laughs> you're wasting all my mom's Twinkies. Stale anyway. Don't talk about my mom like that. It's true. Play it. What? What's true? My mom? Or the Twinkies? <laughs> I'm taking fish. I'll give you one guess. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> count, count Dracula on that one. I'll give you one guess. And then I'll eat give you. you one. <laughs> <laughs> my back is tired. You hit my foot, I'm gonna kick your butt. Well, this is a PG movie. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> Let me just eat this. Eat your Twinkie. And leave me alone. Eat your Twinkie. I love you so much. I'm done. I'm out of Where's here. Where's my gun? <laughs> <laughs> Am I just here for your entertainment or something? Yes, you are. As <laughs> soon as they're out of sight, we are out of here. <laughs> We got company, Schulte. Smell you later. You guys! You guys! Seriously, Toodles. come on! Help! Dusty! Sarah! Oh no! Hillbillies! Somebody! Anybody, please! Please help me! <laughs> you got it! Run! <laughs> oh, thank goodness! <laughs> I wouldn't cheat on you, Stan. Yeah, well, you better not! Because. I want to sing and dance, I want to sing and dance. Well, if it isn't the blind leading the deaf. Oh, hey, dude. You stuck? It's... <laughs> I'm stuck! <laughs> <laughs> I'll be down in a second. <laughs> I could see my life flashing before my eyes. Oh, wait, that's just the sun. That stupid blind driver would make a better getaway Thingy than you, Don Kuko. Don <laughs> not. Don Johnson. I love it. I love it. I love it. And it appears that they are also responsible for holding up my little buddy Clarence Friday night down at the fast stop number two. <sighs> Wasn't Friday night, was it? <laughs> sorry. 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 What do I look like, the Red Cross? <laughs> Red Cross? No, he's not that. Look, helicopter. Damn, it was so dark. Why did you bring that with you? We gotta find someone who will believe us. Well, who's gonna believe a bunch of bananas like us? That's it. <laughs> Other bananas. No. Are you sure? You can't be serious. <laughs> Sparky the banana? I'm totally serious. He's notorious. I'll get you. No yeah, why don't you freaking give me a second? No! I'm trying to work here! It's ridiculous! Come on, let's go! Help me. I'm sorry, hon. I got folded. I need some new sidekicks. I wonder what the Olsen twins are doing. <laughs> 
I tricked you, I'm not really hurt. <laughs> and we're done. We've got to be Who done. Who put this in here? <laughs> Is this a joke? <laughs> I'm going by myself. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do it, man. <laughs> no, no, don't let this fool you, okay? This is just all fun and games. Because you know what?